This video will provide a walkthrough of the Dialog AAC application. At the time of this video, the Dialog AAC app was running software version 2.29.0 and was running on iPad Pro 4th generation running software 14.4. It's also important to note that at the time of this video, March 1st, 2021, the Dialog AAC app was only available on the Apple App Store for 99 US dollars and required iPad OS or iOS 11.0 or newer. It's also important to know that the Dialog AAC app is developed and sold by the Pranky Romic company. In addition, the app can also work in tandem with Essence software on their dedicated devices. The app has two available keyboard options, Essence 60 or Essence 84, with the number is referencing the number of keys on the keyboard. Finally, it's important to note that the Dialog AAC app can be used both in the horizontal and vertical orientation. The video will be broken down into eight parts. The first will review the home screen layout. The second will demonstrate the different ways to form a message. The third will demonstrate how to edit abbreviations. The fourth will cover how to edit pronunciations. The fifth will cover the store text to button function. Part six will provide a brief overview of the app's settings. Part seven will demonstrate how to edit pages. And lastly, part eight will provide additional resources. The video will now review the home screen layout. Outlined in red is the message window. The black X clears the content in the message window. The vocab tab allows you to choose between different vocab page sets. The following clip will demonstrate this function. The menu tab opens up different editing and setting options. These will be reviewed later in the video. The Home button brings the communicator back to the home page if they are on a different page set. The following clip will demonstrate this function. The Banked tab allows access to one's banked messages. It's important to note that in order to download one's banked messages into the Dialog AAC application, the banked message zip file must be already downloaded onto one's device. The following clip will demonstrate this process. The first step is to open up the menu and then go to the settings page. From there, scroll down until you find the message banking tab. Then select the import tab next to import message bank zip file. Once you locate the zip file, select the file and wait until you see the done check mark. Once you exit the settings page and click on the banked tab, you'll now see your banked messages available. The Quick Hits tab opens up a page of custom phrases and messages. The Quick Hits page is unique because when a custom message or phrase is selected, it automatically returns to the page the communicator was previously on. The following clip will demonstrate the Quick Hits feature. I'm okay. What about you? The starters page is filled with preset custom phrases and messages that begin a sentence or thought, allowing the communicator to complete the second half on their own. The following clip will demonstrate the starters page. What do you think about? The rest of the icons outlined in red are the communicator's custom preset categories. The alarm icon plays a short tune to alert the communication partner. Outlined in red are the customizable single message keys. Above the keyboard is the word prediction bar. Lastly, outlined in red is the QWERTY keyboard. The video will now review the different ways to form a message. The first way to form a message is to use the on-screen keyboard. The second way to form a message is to use one's banked messages. A third way to form a message is to use one's starters and then complete the rest of the message using the built-in keyboard. A fourth option to form a message is to use both the on-screen keyboard and the word prediction bar. A fifth option to form a message is to use a combination of one's preset categories and phrases. The video will now review how to edit abbreviations.
Abbreviations can be accessed by selecting Menu and then selecting Edit Abbreviations. Here, the abbreviation AUG with a period is equivalent to the word August. So, if AUG with a period is typed in the message window, it will automatically expand to the word August. Going back to the Edit Abbreviation menu, you have a variety of options. You can create a new abbreviation by selecting the plus icon. You can edit an abbreviation by selecting the arrow to its right. The edit option allows you to erase single abbreviations. Restore defaults makes it so that any new custom abbreviations are erased. The clear option erases all abbreviations. The video will now review how to create and edit pronunciations. To access the pronunciation page, go to Menu and then select Edit Pronunciations. Similar to the abbreviation page, the plus sign allows you to add a new pronunciation. The arrow to the right of the pronunciation allows you to edit. The Edit option in the bottom left corner allows you to delete pronunciations one at a time. The Restore Defaults option erases any new custom pronunciations. The Clear option deletes all pronunciations. As an example, the word Worcester has the pronounce as set to Wooster. So, when the word Worcester is typed into the message window, it will be properly pronounced as Worcester. Worcester. The video will now review the store text to button function. This function is helpful when you have content in the message window you want to save to the current page set. To activate this function, go to menu and then select store text to button. When the pop-up window appears, it provides instructions. When you finish reading them, click continue. From here, select the button you want the text to be assigned to. The video will now provide a general overview of the dialog app settings. The settings page provides a number of different options. The profiles section allows the communicator to save their own custom messages, phrases, and settings by creating and saving their own profile. The navigation section offers two settings to help enhance the communicator's interactive experience within the app. The page size section allows for a keyguard to be properly used within the app and allows the status bar to be removed, resulting in a slightly larger message window. The editing bar allows for the creation of a password to limit the access of the menu and editing. The speech section allows for one to integrate their own custom synthetic voice. At this time, VoiceKeeper is the only available option for the Dialog app. In addition, there are options to adjust the voice, rate, and pitch of the default synthetic voice. The speech display bar section allows for the customization of the message window. The expanded speech area section allows for further customization of the settings. The speak section allows for further customization of the speech output settings. The data logging section allows for data to be logged, a password to be created, and for one to clear their data log. The Buttons section allows for one to customize some buttons and their functions. If a whiteboard page has been created, these settings allow for the customization of the whiteboard. These directions were taken from the Dialog App Manual and can also be found at the end of the video. Head tracking is an available feature of the app via the iPad's camera, and the head tracking settings can be adjusted to the communicator's needs. The Message Banking section has options for the PRC Saltilla Message Banking site, the My Message Banking site, and to import one's own message banking zip file. The Social Networking section allows for one to share the content in the message window with a variety of social media platforms. The Scanning section allows for the use of both scanning and switch options, both of which can be customized using the app's provided settings. The video will now review how to edit a page set. To edit any page set, go to the menu icon in the top right corner and then select Edit Page. Aside from editing the page itself, you also have the option to edit the menu. Editing the menu provides options such as editing gestures, the page layout, loading another page, deleting the page, adding new pages. 
importing and copying new pages, having a page style override option, and hiding a page. In terms of editing the page itself, one option is to use your finger or an external mouse to drag and drop icons to different locations. To edit the specifics of a button, either use your finger or an external mouse to tap on the desired button. Selecting the Edit This button provides the communicator with a number of different editing options. For example, you can change the button's label, the button's message, upload a photo or image, change the button's text and style, and change the button's color and border and width. The button size can be customized by changing the button height and the button width. The Remove button from page option deletes the button from the page set. The Copy button allows a button and its functions to be copied and pasted to an open blank spot. The following slide will provide additional resources.